We're near Jane and Finch where police are investigating three separate shootings from last night. You can see dozens of evidence markers on the ground here on Driftwood Avenue. The shooting happened in between this laneway in between two townhouse complexes. Two men dead and this is after a shooting near Jane and Finch. Standing on the intersection of Finch and Driftwood. Driftwood actually represents two different uh, two different sides. So one side, the north side of Crips, and the south side are blood. I'm saying, welcome to Connections, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't make the right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, nigga. You know, only got the curls, nigga. Gang, nigga. Mm -hmm. Get the wrong nigga walk through, nigga. You ain't gonna fuck the rocker, man. Mm -hmm. Tell them little goofies that love rapping, you better get your leg vest up. Let's shit it up. Yeah, we fit it. Let's shit it up. Let's shit it up. Yeah, we fit it. Let's shit it up. Let's shit it up. Alright, so today I gotta talk about Jane and Finch. It's one of the most notorious areas in Toronto. In the 1970s, Toronto started building public housing projects. Well known projects in Toronto are Regent Park or Lawrence Heights. A lot of immigrants from Jamaica and Africa, but also Asia and even South America started settling in these projects. However, with poverty usually comes crime. So certain gangs started forming. At a certain point, bloods and Crips came about in Los Angeles, and it made its way throughout the United States and also eventually to Toronto. So in the early 90s, those gangs started identifying themselves as Bloods or Crips. Let's focus on the north side first. This is the area of the Driftwood Crips. Now the Driftwood Crips has cells throughout Canada, and members can be found in news articles, as far as small towns in British Columbia. The gang resides in two major housing projects the Driftwood Court Projects and the Shoreham Projects. They used to go by YBK also known as Young Buck Killers. But after a raid in 2011 it's more known as Three Letters. Even though it's a Crip Nair booth they don't show blue flags or blue clothing as much, as it is more low-key. The neighborhood has had multiple rappers since the 90s, but in 2015 rappers from the neighborhood released Was Gang, a tribute to a fallen member who was killed by police while on the run for a double homicide. This song birthed a lot of popular rappers like Pressa. There are multiple rappers to talk about, but we'll come back to that later. First, we have to go to the Bloods down bottom. French baby, real hood baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, Bullets don't got no name, just a destination. <laughs> the south side of Jane and Finch is home to OK. The south side can be divided in two neighborhoods. Connections and the lane. The south side goes by O.K or two letters. This is honor to two killed teens. The beef has been going on for a very long time. But with the rise of drill rap the last decade, we get a more detailed insight into what goes on. However, in the early 2000s, there was a news segment about the war in Jane and Finch that shows how serious the beef has been for a while. A scene few outsiders have witnessed. A neighborhood rap concert featuring the smugglers. The event was billed a truce. It was supposed to bring the two warring sides of Jane and Finch, the North and the South, together under one roof for one night. Speng says he believed rap had the power to overcome rivalries. Jane and Finch is known not to get along with each other and stuff like that. Certain parts in Jane and Finch, and we had the whole of Jane and Finch up top, down laying everything up on stage that one night ready to be like this because when I turned around and I seen everybody I was like yeah shoot and I was surprised to see certain man with certain man standing up beside each other so the first thing I said yeah Jane and Finch we're gonna do this man we're gonna do this you know it's gonna happen now while stick up was on stage someone was preparing to use the event to settle the score as a concert came to a close and people started to leave a familiar sound rang out late last night gunmen rushed the crowded warehouse and opened fire two men were shot dead the beef goes way back. When we take a look at one of the biggest rappers coming out of Toronto right now, Pressa, who lives in LA right now, and who is from the Northside Jane and Finch neighborhood, was involved in a shooting of a man in the Southside area. Pressa allegedly went to the Southside neighborhood with another gang member and shot a man. Later a gun was found in the backyard of Pressa's Northside home. 
This was in 2011, however, Pressa beat the case. One thing about the Toronto drill scene that always amazes me is how involved all the rappers are. Obviously, I just talked about Pressa, but just looking at both sides, every rapper has either a serious past with prison, were shot, or are dead. In 2018 till 2022, five popular rappers from the area were killed due to gang violence. The violence is not going to stop without serious help. I talk to you guys in the next video.